start Naruto off, we got Naruto with no family or friends. For the most part, he is hated by the people of the Hidden Leaf Village because of the nine tails sealed inside of him. The only person who acknowledged Naruto is his sensei Iruka. Although Naruto couldn't pull off a simple shadow clone jutsu, he created the ultimate goal to become the Hokage and to gain the trust of the people of the village. After taking multiple L's in the academy, Naruto is tricked into stealing the scroll of sealing by an irrelevant ass bitch that you'll probably forget his name by the end of this series. By the way, his name is Mizuki if you really want to waste brain capacity remembering the name. Through the possession of the scroll, Naruto learns the multi shadow clone jutsu. Just as Iruka finds Naruto to retrieve and return the scroll, Mizuki attacks them. With killer intent, Mizuki throws a large shuriken at Naruto, but Iruka shields the attack using his body. That's when Naruto says he had enough of this shit and uses his multi shadow clone jutsu to beat that ass. After that, Iruka allows Naruto to graduate from the academy to become a Genin. Moving forward, the Genin graduates gather at the academy to get assigned a team. There, Naruto is assigned to Team 7 with Sasuke and Uselessness. Oh, I, I mean Sakura. <laughs> Hey, hashtag Narusasu. Team 7 then gathers up with their sensei slash team leader Kakashi. There, Naruto, Sasuke, and Uselessness revealed their motives. Believe it, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, and my future dream is to be the greatest Hokage. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. What I have is not a dream, because I will make it a reality. I'm going to restore my clan and destroy a certain someone. I'm Sakura Haru. Nobody gives a shit. After that, Kakashi sets up a bell test to see if they're qualified to be getting. They end up failing because of their lack of teamwork, and so Kakashi gives them another chance to redeem themselves. Before starting the second attempt of the bell test, Kakashi instructs them to eat, adding that if they feed Naruto, they will automatically fail. With Naruto's stomach growling rapidly, Sasuke gives a portion of his lunch, explaining that he'll be inefficient if he runs on an empty stomach. Of course, uselessness does the same after seeing Sasuke do this. That's when Kakashi appears and tells them that they pass, following up with his famous quote, In the shinobi world, those who break the rules are scum. That's true. But those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on that. Moving forward, Team 7 is assigned a mission to escort a bridge builder to the land of waves. While they are traveling, they encounter Zabuza, one of the seven swordsmen of the mist. This is when Kakashi reveals the Sharingan in his left eye preparing to fuck his shit up. Kakashi ends up getting trapped in Zabuza's water prison jutsu, and so this leaves Naruto, Sasuke, and uselessness to fight Zabuza. Sasuke throws a demon wind shuriken at Zabuza, which he manages to avoid. That's when Naruto undoes his transformation, throwing a kunai at Zabuza to interrupt his water prison jutsu. Kakashi and Zabuza then have a nice little part two to their battle. Just as Kakashi is about to deliver the final blow, Zabuza's partner Haku throws needles at him, hitting points that make it seem like he died. She then plays it off that she's a tracker from the hidden mist with a mission to kill Zabuza. She then retreats with Zabuza. Hey, yo, Mo. Know that's a guy, right? Then explain my erection! Moving forward to the next morning, Team 7 heads out to the bridge with the bridge builder, leaving Naruto behind because he's still asleep. That's when two of Gato's henchmen barge into the house to kidnap the bridge builder's daughter. Naruto is then like, nah bruh, taking them both out with a single kick and then makes his way to the bridge. When Naruto arrives at the bridge, the rest of Team 7 is engaging in a battle with Zabuza and Haku. Naruto and Sasuke go up against Haku while Kakashi souls a battle with Zabuza, and as for uselessness, I mean, we already know what she's doing. Haku ends up trapping Naruto and Sasuke in her, <coughs> his crystal ice mirrors jutsu. With that being said, Naruto and Sasuke take a fat L, but the one that takes the fattest L is Sasuke because he takes a million needles up the ass defending Naruto. After witnessing Sasuke's sacrifice, Naruto unleashes the Ninetales chakra within him and says, I'm gonna kill you! He then goes on a rampage and ends up hitting Haku in the face, breaking her mask. Hey, what did I just tell you? Shut the fuck up! Just as Naruto is about to finish Haku off, he stops because if you really think about it, He's Naruto. Meanwhile, Kakashi is about to finish off Zabuza, but then gets cock blocked by Haku. Oh yeah, since I got a lot of shit for not including this last time. Rest in peace. That's when Gato arrives with other higher thugs because he doesn't want to pay Zabuza shit and just wants to take him out right now. Gato then disrespects Haku's body, and at first Zabuza doesn't give a shit. But then Naruto gives one of his powerful speeches, humanizing Zabuza, and so Zabuza retaliates. Since Zabuza was unable to use both of his arms due to his fight with Kakashi, he uses a kunai in his mouth to get through the higher thugs to take out Gato. Rest Shortly after Zabuza dies from the damage he took from the hired thugs. Rest in peace. After that, Naruto started to develop his ninja way, and the bridge was named after him when it was completed. Moving forward, Team 7 returns back to the Hidden Leaf Village, and the tuning exams are about to take place. As Team 7 arrives at the registration room, there stood all of the tuning exam participants. The first phase of the tuning exams is the written test. Anyone who stayed through the whole duration of the test passed, as for the people who left early due to tension, failed. Of course, Team 7 succeeds. Komu, Zack, Kake. We're not so, so Moving forward to the next phase, we got the force to death. The goal here is to gain possession of the earth and heaven scroll. 13 teams are given the earth and 13 teams are given the heaven. There are no rules on how fights are fought, so basically killings allowed. At the beginning of the stage, Naruto is kidnapped by Orochimaru snake while he went to go take a leak. That's when Orochimaru goes and attacks Sasuke. While Sasuke is fighting Orochimaru, uselessness is being... 
fucking useless. What a surprise! After escaping Orochimaru's snake, Naruto goes up against Orochimaru and takes a fat L. Also losing his team's heaven scroll. Orochimaru then uses his paralysis jutsu on Sasuke and bites him on the neck, giving him the curse mark. Orochimaru then retreats, explaining to uselessness that Sasuke will soon come to him and seek a power. Shortly after, Sasuke passes out from the strain of the curse mark. With Naruto and Sasuke out of commission, uselessness is the only one that stands. That's when three hidden sound shinobi attack. Luckily for her, Rock Lee comes in with that leaf hurricane. Rock Lee then goes up against Dosu, and Dosu ends up cheesing the fight with his sound gadget, which impairs Lee's senses, eventually making him pass out. That's when Uselessness steps up and ends up getting her hair grabbed by Keen. So she pulls out a kunai and cuts her hair to relieve the grip. Uselessness then tries to be useful and takes on the sound ninja. So in this case, I'll call her Sakura. <laughs> Back to being uselessness. This is when other hidden leaf shinobi come in to help. A short time after, Sasuke wakes up in his curse mark level one form and you seem to be very proud of these arms of yours. After feeling this power surging through him, Sasuke realizes in order to avenge his clan, he must obtain power even if it means he has to enter into the darkness. Sasuke then goes for a second sound ninja, but uselessness ends up stopping him. Dosi then strikes to deal with them and gives his earth scroll in exchange of allowing them to retreat. Team 7 accepts and shortly after Naruto awakes. Moving forward, Team 7 encounters Kabuto who has possession of both scrolls. They create an alliance with him in search of the heaven scroll. While searching, they are ambushed by a hidden rain ninja who they defeat, successfully acquiring the heaven scroll. With that being said, Team 7 successfully succeeds to the third phase of the tuning exams which is the tournament now the list of teams that pass the second phase is team 10 team 8 team guy team orochimaru or kabuto squad the hidden sand ninja the hidden sound ninja and of course team 7 shortly after gathering for the tournament kabuto resigns from the tuning exams after that they announced that they're gonna run preliminary rounds because of the overstock of participants for the first match we got sasuke and one of kabuto's teammates sasuke wins the match smashing his opponent to the ground with his lines barrage technique after that kakashi takes sasuke to seal the curse mark because of the burden it has become for the second match we got shino and broke arms of the hidden sound and Shino wins. For the third match we got Konkuro and the other person in Kabuto's squad and Konkuro wins. For the fourth match we got Ino and Uselessness and uh what the fuck a draw? For the fifth match we got Tamari and Tenten and it looks like Tenten takes a fat L. For the sixth match we got Shikamaru and Keen and Shikamaru wins. For the seventh match we got Naruto and Kiba and Naruto ends up winning by taking a shit in Kiba's face and on top of that hitting his Uzumaki barrage. For the eighth match we got Hinata and Neji and... <laughs> For the ninth match we got Rock Lee and Gaara and... And for the 10th and final match of the preliminaries, we got Choji and Dosu, and Choji just takes a fucking fat L. Before the final rounds of the tuning exam take place, there is a month of preparation. This is when Naruto undergoes training with Ebisu. While doing some chakra control training, Naruto encounters Jiraiya, the Toad Sage. That's when Naruto puts Ebisu behind him and trains with Jiraiya. Of course, that's after a good bit of character development, which I don't have time to explain. <laughs> I'm gonna show this dude on my asshole. Nigga, what? Moving forward, Dosi tries to kill Gara so he can face Sasuke first in the tuning exams. And that's when Gara briefly handles him. While Naruto is training with Jiraiya, Sasuke is also training with Kakashi, learning the Chidori. Moving forward to the final rounds of the tournament, Naruto and Neji are first. At first, Naruto takes a massive L, but that's when he hits Neji up with that surprise uppercut to the mouth, winning the match. The next match is with Gara and Sasuke, but due to Sasuke's absence, they postpone his match. And so Shikamaru and Tamari are up next. Shikamaru outplays Tamari, but then surrenders, explaining that his chakra reserves are low. Also saying that even if he did win, it would have been just a drag. So that takes us to the next match with Gara and Sasuke, who makes a flashy ass entrance. Sasuke ends up hitting Gaara up with that Chidori, and as a reaction to that, Gaara goes berserk after seeing his blood. This is when the Hidden Sound and Hidden Sand start their attack on the Hidden Leaf. Kabuto puts all of the spectators to sleep using Genjutsu except the ones that knew how to counter it. The Sound Shinobi then summons giant snakes in the village to decimate everything and everyone. Meanwhile, the third Hokage Hiruzen is now facing his former student, Orochimaru. While all of this chaos is going on, Tamari and Kakuro retreats with Gaara, who is now unconscious due to releasing the One Tail during his fight with Sasuke, shortly after Sasuke goes after them for Gaara. Kakashi then orders uselessness to gather Naruto and Shikamaru and sends them on a mission to retrieve Sasuke, summoning Pakun to help them track him. While going after Sasuke, they are chased by hidden sound shinobi. That's when Shikamaru comes to the decision that he'll act as a decoy while the rest go ahead. Meanwhile, Sasuke catches up to Gaara and so Kankuro decides to hold off Sasuke while Tamari flees with Gaara. This is when Shino arrives and takes on Kankuro, allowing Sasuke to go after Gaara. In the battle between Shino and Kankuro, they kind of trade L's because Shino outplays Kankuro with his bugs and Kankuro poisons Shino with his puppet. At this time, the third Okage uses the Reaper Death Seal on Orochimaru. This jutsu allows the user to pull the soul out of their opponent and seal it with the expense of their life. But due to certain circumstances, the third Hokage was only able to seal Orochimaru's arms, disabling his ability to use Jutsu. Moving forward, Sasuke finally catches up- wait, hold up.
Moving forward, Sasuke finally catches up to Gara and now faces him. This is when Gara unleashes his half Shukaku form. Sasuke is then like, oh hell no, I'm not gonna die here, I need to avenge my clan, and uses his Chidori on Gara. Gara then gets back up and taunts Sasuke that he's too weak. Sasuke on his Avenger shit pushes himself to do another Chidori and clashes with Gara once again. Due to Sasuke pushing the limits of his chakra, the curse mark seal is released, paralyzing him. Gara then goes for the final blow, but just as he's about to reach Sasuke, Naruto comes in and kicks Gara in the mouth. Oh yeah, and Useless arrives also. Move it! <laughs> Naruto and Gara then have an intense fight. Gara unleashes the one tail and Naruto summons the giant toad Gumabunta. To get close to Gara, Naruto jumps off of Gumabunta and hits Gara with a nasty headbutt. To be honest, I don't even know how they both didn't get a concussion from that. With both of them crippled from the fight, Naruto then gives one of his powerful speeches, pretty much erasing all of Gara's evil intentions. After that, Gara, Kankuro, and Tamari retreats back to their village while Team 7 make their way back to the Hidden Leaf Village. <laughs> Moving forward, two Kotsuki members enter the Hidden Leaf Village, Itachi Uchiha and Kisami Hoshigaki. They end up encountering Asuma, Kurina, and Kakashi and had no other choice but to fight. Itachi uses his Sukuyomi on Kakashi, incapacitating him, and retreats with Kisami to search for Naruto. Moving forward, Sasuke enters the room where Kakashi is resting and overhears that Itachi is in the Hidden Leaf Village and search for Naruto. After hearing this, Sasuke rushes and looks everywhere for Naruto. Meanwhile, Jirai takes Naruto out for training to learn a new jutsu. They decide to drop by a hotel and there Jirai sees one of them peachy peachy gals. So Jirai gives the hotel keys to Naruto and goes for that hoe. While Naruto is in the hotel room, he gets a knock at the door. He opens the door and there he sees Itachi and Kisame. That's when Sasuke comes around the corner and attempts to get his vengeance on Itachi, but ends up getting his shit fucked up and... <laughs> place under Itachi's Sukuyomi. That's when Jiraiya arrives and uses his toad mouth trap jutsu, attempting to wipe out Itachi and Kisame right here and now, but fails because Itachi uses his Amaterasu to burn an opening, allowing him and Kisame to escape. Due to Sasuke and Kakashi's condition from the Sukuyomi, Jiraiya and Naruto go on a search for Tsunade, one of the legendary Sanin with exceptional medical ninjutsu. While going on the search, Jiraiya shows and teaches Naruto the Rasengan. The first step to learning the Rasengan is to pop a water balloon by manipulating chakra in a certain pattern. After a couple of days of struggling, Naruto manages to succeed but now faces a another challenge. He must do the same exact thing but with a rubber ball. And so, he succeeds, but of course that's after a good couple of days. With that being said, Naruto moves on to the last step, and that is to maintain a Rasengan inside of an air balloon, without popping it. Moving forward, due to Orochimaru's arms being all fucked up from getting sealed, he goes and seeks Tsunade to negotiate a deal. If she heals his arms, he will bring her little brother and her beloved back to life. She hesitates, and so Orochimaru gives Tsunade a week to think about her decision. Moving forward, Jiraiya and Naruto find Tsunade and Shizune at a bar. That's when Jiraiya tells Tsunade that the Hidden Leaf has come to the decision to nominate her as the fifth Hokage. Tsunade rejects the offer and disrespects every single former Hokage. That's when Naruto threatens her and as a result, a fight. Naruto attempts to use his Rasengan and uh, takes a fat L. Tsunade then provokes Naruto on his dream of becoming Hokage and makes a bet with him. If he masters the Rasengan in one week, she'll give her necklace as a reward. But if he fails, he'll have to hand over all of the money in his wallet and admit defeat. Moving forward, Tsunade meets up with Orochimaru again. Tsunade then pretends to accept the deal and attempts to use an attack disguised as a healing technique. She is quickly stopped by Kabuto and that's when Tsunade goes on the offensive and engages in a battle with them. Ooh, ooh, okay, Kabuto, I see you. Oh, Naruto, Jiraiya, and Shizune then arrive. Naruto takes on Kabuto while Jiraiya takes on Orochimaru. During Naruto's fight with Kabuto, Kabuto goes for a kunai attack on which Naruto manages to grab. Naruto then charges that extra juicy Rasengan and smacks Kabuto with it. But Kabuto manages to heal his injury because if you really think about it, He's Kabuto. Shortly after, Kabuto collapses due to reaching his limit, and Naruto collapses due to a slick attack from Kabuto during the Rasengan. Tsunade then heals Naruto, and on top of that, gives her a necklace. Meanwhile, Jirai takes an L against Orochimaru, and so Orochimaru goes for an attack on Naruto. Tsunade protects Naruto and activates her creation rebirth technique, healing all of her wounds. Shortly after, the legendary Sanin summon their signature summoning creatures, and so Jiraiya and Tsunade go up against Orochimaru. With the odds against him, Orochimaru then takes an L, and so he retreats with Kabuto. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward, Naruto, Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Shizune return to the Hidden Leaf, and Tsunade accepts the position of Okage. Tsunade then drops by the hospital and heals Kakashi and Sasuke back to health. In a little after, she heals Rock Lee, whose bones were fucked up from the... At this time, Sasuke starts feeling inferior in strength compared to Naruto, and so he challenges him to a fight, also saying, fuck your apple's uselessness. They then settle their battle on the hospital's rooftop, and attempts to finish the fight with their signature Rasengan and Shidori clash. But right before they're about to make contact, Kakashi comes in and redirects their attacks. At first, Sasuke is like, <laughs> I'm stronger than your dumbass. But then realized that he fucked up after seeing the hole that Naruto actually created in the back of the water tower. Moving forward, Sasuke is just sitting at a tree thinking about the dilemma he's in. That he's fucking weak. 
This is when Kakashi comes in and tells Sasuke to give up on vengeance, explaining that revenge never ends well. After the lecture, Kakashi leaves, leaving Sasuke alone to think. This is when the Sound 4 comes in to beat Sasuke's ass. <laughs> with the intention to strengthen his desire for more power. They are successful and so Sasuke leaves the Hidden Leaf Village with the Sound 4 to acquire this power from Orochimaru. But right before he leaves, he encounters Uselessness, who he karate chops in the back of the neck, knocking her out. Moving forward to the following morning, the Hidden Leaf is notified by Sakura about Sasuke going rogue. As a result, they dispatch a Sasuke recovery team that consists of Naruto, Shikamaru, Choji, Kiba, and Neji. Please bring Sasuke back to me. Man, why the fuck does she keep getting screen time? Meanwhile, the Sound 4 gives Sasuke a mind awakening pill to upgrade his curse mark to a level 2. With that being said, Sasuke will be sealed in a coffin until his transformation is complete. Moving forward, the Sasuke recovery team catches up to the Sound 4 and so Jirobo holds him off while the rest go ahead to deliver Sasuke to Orochimaru. Choji decides to take on Jirobo 101 allowing the others to go after Sasuke. As a last resort, Choji pops his chili pill to acquire enough strength to crush Jirobo. Shortly after, he collapses due to the side effects of the chili pill. Oh yeah. Moving forward, the Sasuke recovery team catches up to the Sound 4, I guess is the Sound 3 now. And there they are held up by Kitamaru. Neji decides to take on Kitamaru to allow the rest to go after Sasuke. In the fight, Neji takes an arrow to the stomach and utilizes this to his advantage by sending Chakra through the web the arrow is attached to, immobilizing Kitamaru. Neji then follows up with his signature 8 trigram 64 palms and ends Kitamaru by rapidly jabbing his titties. Rest in peace. Moving forward, the Sasuke recovery team catches up to the Sound 4 two i guess and now they finally get their hands on sasuke's coffin to increase their chances of succeeding the mission kiba takes on sakan slash ukon and shikamaru takes on tayuya but just as they're about to execute their plan orochimaru's henchman kimimaru swoops in and takes the coffin naruto pursues him while the others settle their battle eventually naruto catches up to him and so they end up fighting during naruto's fight with kimimaru sasuke's transformation completes and so he heads to orochimaru without saying a single word to naruto that's when rock lee comes in and takes on kimimaru allowing naruto to go after sasuke moving a little forward right Rock Lee starts taking small L's and so Gara arrives to assist him. Simultaneously as Tamari and Konkuro arrive to assist Shikamaru and Kiba in their battles. The result of this is... And so, we are finally here. Of course, after this commercial break. Or maybe not a commercial break, but did you know Orochimaru transferred his soul to another body, overcoming the effects of his sealed arms? We don't give a shit. We are finally here with the final battle between Naruto and Sasuke to settle the beef. Of course, Naruto tries one of his powerful speeches, but uh, yeah, it seems it was ineffective. So with no other choice, they fight because remember kids, violence solves all problems. At the climax of their battle, Naruto and Sasuke charge their extra juicy Rasengan and Chidori and smashes that shit like me and this goddamn dildo. What? And at least say no homo. The fight ends with Sasuke winning, and so he heads to Orochimaru for this quote unquote power. Shortly after, Kakashi arrives and takes Naruto back to the Hidden Leaf Village. While in the hospital, Naruto sets the goal to bring back Sasuke. And, uh, oh, 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 oh my god, what? What is this? What are all these fillers? Well, fast forwarding roughly 80 episodes, Naruto leaves the Hidden Leaf Village with Jiraiya to train because in roughly two years, the Akatsuki plan on capturing all nine Jinjiriki, which makes Naruto one of the targets. With that being said, it looks like that's the end. Hey Mo, you trying to watch some hentai?